is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have your WWE Stomping Grounds 2019 full show predictions for you guys. This pay-per-view is on Sunday. Can you believe that? It, do you, does it feel like there's a pay-per-view on Sunday? I mean, my goodness, guys. I mean, this one just snuck up on us. I mean, I don't think that WWE has done a very good job of pushing this pay-per-view at all. Probably because it's just a bunch of rematches from Super Showdown in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And I'm going to be real with you. I've looked at the card. I've, I've analyzed everything. And there, I think there may be one match. Match, maybe two matches that I'm looking forward to on this card, maybe, and the rest I am just like bad or blah or boring or whatever, man. I am just not hyped. I think it's WWE's fault. They have not done a good job of television. I, I don't know a lot of what's going on. I feel like everything's just mixed all together with this wild card rule, and I just, I'm not hyped for this show on Sunday, but you know what? We're going to go into it with an open mind. I'm just going to give you my thoughts on every match going into it. We're going to cover the full card, tell you everything about the matchups leading up to it. I'm going to give you my personal predictions on where this thing will go afterwards what I hope happens at the show, and everything in between, guys. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get into this card, guys, where the hell is my boy Finn Bauer? The Intercontinental Champion not even featured on the card here at Stomping Grounds, guys. I'm very upset about this. What, what the hell happened, man? We don't have the Raw Tag Team Championships. I don't think the Iconics have even defended their Women's Tag Team Championships up to this point since they won them in Mania. And the Revival just won the Raw Tag Team Championships. They're not featured on the show here either. And it's just very sad, guys. I mean, you gotta get you gotta get Benjamin Balor on the card. Why not just have a rematch with Cian Almas? I mean, you already have a million rematches on the show as it is. Why not throw Finn Balor, the man, taking on Andrade again? I don't know. I don't even think he was featured on TV this week. I, I just, just, just had to, just had to throw this in here. So getting into our first matchup, guys, we have the triple threat match for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship between the champions Tony Nese taking on Akira Tozawa and Drew Gulak. I really am excited for this one. I think that this one's going to be one of the most underrated matches on the card. I think that everybody knows what these three men can do in the ring. I think Drew Gulak is very underrated. Tony Nese can absolutely go, and Akira Tozawa has proven himself over and over and over. And to be honest with you guys, I could see Tony Nese dropping the strap here to either Drew Gulak or Tozawa. I think that either one could happen. But I think I'm going to go with uh, Tony Nese to retain. I haven't gotten the basic Tony Nese figure or the Drew Gulag basic yet. I need to get both of those in here, get an elite conversion in here so we can have those guys in elite forms for these predictions videos and stuff of that nature. I wouldn't mind having all three in the freaking pick fed, to be honest with you. But on this matchup, guys, I'm going to go with Tony Nese to retain. I still think that they're going to give him a lengthy run here after Mania and beating Buddy Murphy. So I am going to go with Tony Nese to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Next up, guys, we have the tag team match between The New Day, Big E, and Xavier Woods taking on my boy Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I think this one is going to be an underrated one as well. All four of these men can go. They've proven it many, many times. And I hope that they let Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn go over here. I really want to see them pick up the dub. I think it would be great for them. You know, they did lose to Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston on SmackDown Live. So it would be really nice to see them bounce back with a win here on the pay-per-view, get a win over The New Day. You know, The New Day have done it all as a tag team. So why not give the dub over to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn here? Here at Stomping Grounds on Sunday, guys. So I'm going to go with my boy Kevin Owens picking up the win. Hopefully they give us a great matchup. I think that, again, pay attention to this matchup for just, I know the story doesn't really, nobody really cares about the story going in. Just look at it as a great wrestling match, and I think you will not be disappointed. Going with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to defeat the New Day. Next up, guys, we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. We have Daniel Bryan and Rowan, the champions, taking on Heavy Machinery, Otis, and Tucker. I know that Heavy Machinery really doesn't have a lot of credibility coming into this matchup, guys. They're more treated of, as a joke on SmackDown, and they really, you know, they, they're more treated as a comedy act here. But I think they can build them up really nice. If you give them a good matchup here with Bryan and Rowan, I, I actually like Bryan and Rowan as a tag team a lot. I think they're really underrated. I know they have the championships and all, but I really am digging them as a tag team, and I hope that they evolve more here in this matchup versus Heavy Machinery. I think it would be cool to give them a retain here. They definitely need to retain the titles, but make Heavy Machinery look strong. Give them a good matchup. Maybe, uh, you know, show some of that limelight of their wrestling ability here. And uh, give, it, give us a good matchup, man. Give us a good matchup between these two. But I am going to go with Brian and Rowan to retain. Also, I do think that we're going to see a battle pack or elite shown of Heavy Machinery at San Diego Comic-Con in July. I think that will be revealed. I think that will be really awesome to get elites of those guys because we really do need those in our collection. But I'm going to go with the champions to retain in this one. 
Next up, guys, we have the United States Championship match between Samoa Joe taking on Ricochet. Two of my favorites in all of WWE squaring off here at Stomping Grounds on Sunday, guys. Very excited for this matchup. I think the contrast between Ricochet's high-flying ability and the strength and power of Samoa Joe should make for a very entertaining matchup. Think NXT with Finn Balor and Samoa Joe when they were battling over the NXT strap. I am really excited for this one. I'm so excited to see Ricochet get this opportunity, but I think that he should ultimately fail, to be honest with you. I mean, Samoa Joe... Um, I I mean, I get his reign just, you know, he hasn't had really good matches. He's lost a lot as the champion before he had, you know, before he lost to Rey Mysterio and then had to get the title back. It's just been really ugly for Joe. So, honestly, they need to book him better here. But then again, when you think about it, it's like they have already put him down this foxhole where they have booked him into a horrific corner. They have made him look like an absolute moron on television. So, I mean, you could just give it to Ricochet, give the strap to Ricochet and start all over. So, I mean, that is something we could also see here. But I'm going to go with Samoa Joe to retain even though my boy Ricochet winning the U.S. title I'd be completely okay with. Getting that first singles championship here on the main roster would be big for Ricochet, you know, sending him over the edge there. So I would really appreciate either one winning. I'm just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy a great wrestling matchup. Another underrated match here on the card, and one of the ones that I'm most looking forward to is Ricochet taking on Samoa Joe, but I am going to say Joe retains. Maybe Ricochet goes for that 630, and then, you know, there Joe is for that Coquita clutch, and it is all over. So that'd be really cool to see, but I'm going to go with Joe to retain the United States Championship. Next up, guys, is the singles match between the big dog Roman Reigns taking on Drew McIntyre. And this is one of those matches, again, I just do not give a crap about. You know, this comes from Super Showdown, and even before that, when we had Shane McMahon running around, you know, costing Roman Reigns, and, you know, Roman Reigns supposedly hit Vince McMahon, and now Shane McMahon is out to get Roman, and it's just trash. You know, Shane McMahon did defeat Roman Reigns at Super Showdown, thanks to Drew McIntyre, and that is why this matchup is happening, and I actually called that exact thing happening at Super Showdown, and here we are later on at Stomping Grounds, getting these two in a matchup after that Claymore kick from McIntyre to cost Roman Reigns versus Shane, and, uh, I am going to go with the big dog getting the victory. I think Roman Reigns will win here, and I don't know if this feud continues, guys. I mean, my God, I feel like these these guys have just been feuding forever, it seems like. Like, does it not seem like... I feel like these guys have just fought and fought and fought, and it's just... It's just... just yeah, I mean, Roman Reigns isn't in the title picture, but we uh, just because he's not in the title picture doesn't mean just giving the same matchup and giving him this meaningless feud here on television. I don't know. It's it's hard to it's hard to say because you know if he was in a title picture, it'd be like oh, just pushing him down our throat, but then he put him in a meaningless feud and it's oh, get this crap off my TV. I don't know. Just give him a break. I, I really don't know what the answer is, but Roman Reigns here in this matchup should totally win. I think that uh, it's about time for this thing to end, man. I mean, again, like I've said, they they've been feuding forever and. I I think Roman Reigns will be will beat Drew McIntyre here. Maybe gets his revenge back on Shane. Gives him a Superman punch, whatever, and we can move on from this. But Shane McMahon being on television every single night, every single week is just super, super stale, and it is it is killing the shows. Even though they're already dead and buried and gone to begin with, it makes them even worse when Shane McMahon is on our TVs 50 minutes every single week. So I, I think Roman Reigns will defeat Drew McIntyre here. Next up, guys, we have the Raw Women's Championship match between Becky Lynch taking on Lacey Evans in a rematch again. And I really do not know why Lacey Evans is getting this matchup. You know, she did lose to Becky Lynch already. I don't see why she would get another rematch here. She didn't even do anything really to earn the first one. I know she beat Natalya in a number one contenders match, but what did she do to earn the number one contenders match? You know, it's not like she was on a string of victories or something. I, I just don't understand the logic. It's very insulting to our intelligence. But I hope my girl Becky Lynch wins. You know, you guys know that she is my favorite on the main roster as far as the women go, and I would love to see her retain here. I don't think that Lacey Evans is championship material. I think that she has gotten exponentially better since she, um, you know, since she got called up to the main roster and has been battling on the main roster. But I do not want her as champion here. It should not happen at this moment, and I'm not expecting much out of this match that we didn't see in their first matchup. So I'm going to go with Becky Lynch to retain here, and I think it's the right move. Becky Lynch will retain her Raw Women's Championship. Flipping over to SmackDown Live side, guys, we have the SmackDown Live Women's Championship between Bayley and Alexa Bliss. Bayley is one of my favorite superstars as well on the women's side. Over there on SmackDown, I was super happy for her when she won Money in the Bank, cashed in, won the championship. I was super excited for it. I think she totally deserves it. After the year she had with Sasha Banks and just all the trash and the terrible booking and the horrible television she has been put through, I am very glad to see her as champion here. And I hope to God that she does not lose here to Alexa Bliss. 
Alexa Bliss is like 70 times champion and it doesn't make any sense guys she hasn't been in the ring very well she cannot wrestle the best and I think it would be totally insulting to Bailey, and I would expect Bailey to walk away just like Sasha Banks if she has to drop this SmackDown Live Women's Championship Bailey should by no means lose here she already got looked she she's already looked like a fool to Alexa Bliss beforehand you guys remember in that in that Extreme Rules match a couple years back or a year back whatever it was and she looked like a total moron and she looked like a pansy and I think that the best thing to do here is to rectify that with a championship win retain this championship and uh, let's let's do something else here so Bailey definitely needs to retain her SmackDown Live Women's Championship and I hope that happens I'm gonna say it happens I'm putting faith in WWE here to do the right thing have Bailey win over Alexa Bliss and I'm just gonna cling to the hope of Jesus Christ that we get that dub so I'm going with Bailey and I just got just please let Bailey win Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the steel cage match between my boy Dolph Ziggler taking on Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. And this one's pretty interesting. I know that Dolph Ziggler, he has just gotten super stale, guys. Coming out repeating that same damn line. It should have been me. It should have been me just over and over and over and over and over again. And I love Dolph Ziggler. I'm the biggest Dolph Ziggler mark you'll find in the world. But that sh is getting old, and it is just terrible, guys. I cannot stand that. Like, my God, change the record. Um, I hope these guys put on a great match. I felt like, you know, they were just collecting a paycheck at Super Showdown. That matchup was not very good, and uh, hopefully they can rectify it here. I, I love Ziggler to death, and I would love to see him hoist that WWE Championship up. I think it's the only title that is preventing him from becoming a Grand Slam, which I think is crap because he was a world champion at one time, and, you know, they changed the rules, and it's stupid, but... If he could win that WWE title, I would be marking out, but I just don't see it happening, guys. I think that this is just another ploy to get, you know, Kofi Kingston's title reign a little bit longer. They couldn't, you know, uh, feud him with Kevin Owens any longer. They didn't have anybody else at the moment, so I think they're going to just job out Ziggler here to Kofi, and we're going to extend this thing. Hopefully, this feud ends here, unless Ziggler wins it, which I don't see happening, and if Ziggler does win it, maybe we'll see a Brock Lesnar cash in. That's possible as well, and I don't know. We, we could see a Brock Lesnar cash in on Kofi. Who knows? After a brutal steel cage match, you know, a lot of energy put into this thing. He barely escapes Ziggler. And then Brock Lesnar comes down and cashes in. You know, that could be something. I'm not sure. But I think that Kofi will retain here. I'm going to go with Kofi Kingston to retain, even though I'm going to be cheering my butt off for my man Ziggler. I just don't see it happening here. Kofi Kingston will retain the WWE Championship. And for our main event, guys, we have my boy Seth Rollins, the Universal Champion, defending his championship versus Trash Corbin, my least favorite wrestler in the world. Uh, you guys know how I feel. I mean, I, I just cannot stand Trash Corbin, and everybody says, well, he's just such a good heel, man. No, he's not a good heel. I don't want him on my television. I do not think he is good at what he does. I don't like his mannerisms. I don't like anything about the man. When he comes out, I immediately want to change the channel. He is not a ratings grabber. He is a channel champion changing moron and I do not want him on my TV. So with that being said guys, if he were to win the WWE Universal Championship, I don't know what I would do honestly. I think that, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do but it will not be a good day for me. I, I just, I cannot take this company seriously if they have a champion like that. I, I just, I, ever, ever since I've seen him, I mean he has gotten so much better guys, I will say he's gotten so much better and it's, it's it's cool to see him get so much better, but it is just channel changing. I cannot stand it, and I do not want to look at it. So if he wins the Universal Championship, I, I don't know what you guys will get from me. It'll be it'll be interesting. I don't even know how I will react. But anyways, the story of this matchup, guys, is the special guest referee, and the special guest referee has not been announced yet to this point. You know, that's sort of been the storyline going into this thing. Who's going to be the special referee? I honestly think it could be Paul Heyman, or it could be Brock Lesnar. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I just think that could be a swerve that they throw in there. Um, it could be somebody completely random or Shane McMahon. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. But I am thinking something with Brock Lesnar trying to cash in. You know, as the referee, he cashes in mid-match or something and just takes the, you know, he steals the Universal Championship from out under Seth Rollins or Baron Corbin or Trash Corbin, whatever. I just hope whatever happens here, I really don't want my man to lose the Universal Championship, but if he has to lose it, I would, I would much rather it be Brock Lesnar than Trash Corbin. Just give me anything else than Trash Corbin winning the Universal Championship, and I will be a happy camper here, guys, but... I, I think that Seth Rollins will retain. I, I think it'll be Seth or it'll be Brock. Like, WWE, don't give me this Trash Corbin Universal title. You want to permanently kill Monday Night Raw. You want to kill your product to an ultimate. You put that title on Trash Corbin, and AEW will totally smash you. I can guarantee it. I know that we have a while to all out, but the, the ratings have been dropping every single week, and the, the pay-per-view buys, they've been struggling to sell tickets. You give the Universal title to Trash Corbin, and I guarantee 
guarantee you it will get even worse. But that is going to do it for my WWE Stomping Grounds 2019 predictions, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please leave down below your predictions for this show. What do you think? Are you hyped for it? Are you feeling the same way I am? How would you react if Trash Corbin won the Universal Championship? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think we'll see a Brock Lesnar cash in? All very important stuff that I would love to know down in the comment section below. I think I will be, uh, I think I will be finishing Vindication today, and then I'm going to probably try and have it up by Friday. That's my, that's my aim. I uh, don't expect anything because you know we're trying out this new format with the highlights in the matches and we're trying out different things of that nature with this show so it's going to be interesting and if you guys hate it again we will go back to the other way and you know I'm just trying to get to Hell's Gate as fast as possible but I hope you guys did enjoy the predictions again comment all the stuff that I asked you down below subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you